first day, because I was there on the second day, and a couple of the security staff was very rude to me, and I was like, don't think that because you're staff, we won't have an issue, because I'm Italian, and I know how to make people disappear. <laughs> Which uh, Francine was later like, can you not threaten my staffers, please? And I was like, they made me angry. <laughs> so, um, what? So, why did the staff disappear? They were they um, were just rude. Well, I think I think there was some. I'm not 100 percent what happened, but I guess there was like some issue, and a good chunk of the security just left after lunch on Friday, and they just didn't come back. <laughs> like I never really heard why, but they just kind of went. I knew Wokocom was understaffed, and I had an issue with one of the staffers well, there. Well, that doesn't sound like it's too nice. No, and it's it's unfortunate that, that happens, and um, you know, at that point, you just kind of gotta bear with it. But remember, we were that was when we were hanging out that Saturday. Oh yeah, yes, yeah. yeah, when you guys came down, and we ran into each other again. Yeah. <laughs> um, at MomoCon, I did a female version of Castiel from Supernatural. I had these cute little white wings. I mean, they maybe come a little bit past my arms. They're these itty bitty little freaking adorable little wings that Leonard gave to me. And we were standing in line waiting for the dealer's room to open. And a staff member literally pushed me to get by. She did not say excuse me. Like, I have a hereditary hearing disorder. Sometimes I cannot hear. But if you say excuse me, chances are I'll hear you because I intend to listen for politeness, at least. And be like, oh, I, oh wait, that wasn't addressed to me? All right, I just heard it. But this lady pushed by me. I was mad. And one of the, I think he's one of the head staffers over there or is he somewhere I've known him since middle school and I saw him and I was like Josh this is what happened I can tell you exactly what the lady looks like and he was like oh my god I'm so sorry that happened I was like the wings didn't break if they'd broken I would have I would have had to stop her and been like you either have to buy me a new pair of wings or pay me the amount that these wings are worth which they were like 75 bucks they were but they were a gift from a friend which is why I was more upset about it than anything um and he was like, oh man, I'm so sorry, we're just short-staffed and everybody's, you know, freaking out. And then, you know, it's, it's great actually that people do run these panels and that, you know, last minute Francine told me, oh hey, we don't have a whole ton of panels for StationCon. I was like, here's eight apps. You don't have to approve any of them, but at least it looks like you have stuff that's well written. There you go. <laughs> and then I ended up getting like four panels. <laughs> It's like, oh, I, I, I didn't mean for that to happen. Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah.